Good morning, trucking junkies. Uh, it's about 10. We've been here for a little while. Just trying to find a place to actually get unloaded and somebody to unload me. But we're going to get this tarp off, get our chains off, and get us something else for today. Let's go do some work. We are unloaded and headed to Malvern. We're going to pick up some wood products. We gotta pull out the steak and lumber tarps. Blah. <laughs> oh man, so that's gonna go to. It's gonna take about an hour to get to Malvern, a little more, and then that this is going to uh, Plano, Illinois, to Menards, D.C. I should go over there and bowl a game. I decided to take my bowling ball with me, so I have my bowling balls in my truck just in case this weekend I'm somewhere near a bowling alley I can go use my new ball again that would make me happy very happy hmm. so I have put in for uh New Year's Eve off and uh, they're having uh, they're having something at the bowling alley here in Cabot need to call them and find out what the stipulations are I, I think it's rent a lane but I could be wrong uh, and we're trying to uh, I've asked Keith and Jenny to go Keith may have a gig though that night he doesn't know yet <clears throat> he plays in a few bands so we'll see let's go make a pit stop since we've got to be over here we had to come this way anyway we're gonna get Pocahontas washed and they just sent a message saying the wash bay's back open it had some maintenance going on this morning so we're gonna get Pocahontas washed real quick get our butts down to Malvern I don't mind that Malvern load but Dang it, if you gotta get those dang lumber tarps out. Again. Fed them. I'll be leaking oil. And we're here. Oh, man. Point one mile ahead, turn left. Yeah, I know. Hey, this place is out here in the middle of nowhere, man, I tell you. Oh, let's see how many we got. Uh, stacked up today. I haven't been here in a minute. Turn left. Yeah, lady. I'll turn left when I get there. That's for sure. Oh, hot dog. I showed up at the right time. We got one person getting loaded. Line eight. Yep. One person getting loaded, nobody in line. That's unusual. Dude eating some lunch. Go down here and turn around in their back 40. So I finally made it home last night at about 11 o'clock. I was back up at 7.30 this morning. Wife was leaving for work. She's 
is working. Three days a week. Volunteering. Trying to keep the business open. No pay. <laughs> other girl that works with them she found her a different job she couldn't uh, she's single and got grandkids at home and kids and stuff and she couldn't live on nothing she had to find her a different job but I'm glad she found her something That only leaves uh, Kelly and the main boss there. Two people working in that office. Mm. They do a lot of work for two people. But whatever. The wife likes to stay busy. I don't blame her, so do I. I'm gonna get parked here and eat me something while they're loading him up. Yay. So, here's my load. And it got loaded on somebody else's trailer. That's why the landing gear is down. So I called him and told him, I said, look, I said, can we not just switch trailers so they wouldn't have to unload all of this, load it onto my trailer, and then load his freight onto his trailer? And they said yes. So that's what we have done. All right. She's all done. Ah, uh, wrapped up like a Christmas gift, ready to be unwrapped. Tomorrow. Let's get up out of here. I got a story to tell. All right, so let's talk about this uh, story I got to tell you. 30.7 miles ahead. After she gets done talking. Stay on I-30. There we go. So, I told you, or I showed you a while ago, we were out switching trailers with this guy, right? So he's taking his sweet time, and I'm like, what is he doing? I'd already asked him if he had... I keep mine. I don't want to wrestle with them in my stinking in my stinking box on on my headache rack. But anyway, and he says yes. I was like, cool. Just unhook, and I'll unhook, and we'll just switch and leave everything in the trailer. Well, I get unhooked and everything, and I get over there, and that dude's taking his sweet time about getting unhooked, and I see him getting into his trailer and moving things around. I'm like, what is he doing? gets unhooked, I get unhooked, or I get over there, I get hooked up, and he's backed up into the trailer I had, and I get out in my truck, and look, and he's taking everything out of the truck, the only thing left in that truck are the three green tarps that we carry, he's taking out all of the coil pads he had in there, all the friction mats, he took his steel tarps out. Now each truck, each trailer has steel tarps in it and lumber tarps. Unless you're picking up one that's a drop at, at like Lowe's or something. And then you got to switch all your stuff over. But we're just, we both have all of our equipment. So I have to walk back down there to where he was getting loaded. And I asked him, I said, I said, why'd you take your steel tarps out? And I said, I also asked you if you had friction mats and coil pads in there. He says, yeah, he said, he said, but I only go home every three weeks and I need to have perfect steel tarps. 
I'm like, are you kidding me, man? I was like, that's that's more work. I was like, if I'd have known that, I'd have just let him switch the switch the freight over. He's like, well, I didn't want to switch in the first place. Well, you should have said that. I'd have called my fleet manager back and told him to forget it. Guy wants to be here longer. Random fact of the day. It's random fact time. So let's do a sports fact today. Uh, Tiger Woods was eight years old when he got his first hole in one. And I am 48 years old and I still suck at golf. But it's a fun game. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to chalk it up to this not being my day. Man, you have the fiasco with switching this trailer. And now, I pull into Pocahontas. And uh, here at the one truck stop that they've got, because I usually pull in there, that's a good bathroom place. You know, get you something to snack on or something to eat. They've got a Chester's chicken in there and a and a, a, a pizza place. And, you know, it's a good old place, right? No problems whatsoever. So I go in there and use the facilities. I come back out, get me a drink, walk up to the hot bar, and the lady's standing there playing on her phone. And I'm standing there like three minutes and she's looking up, looking down, looking up, looking down. I know dang well she sees me, never acknowledges, you know, until she looks at me and says, are you going to pay cash or card? No, hey, how you doing? How are you? None of that crap. Just are you paying cash or card? I said, I'm going to pay card, debit card. Our card reader's down. Sorry. Dang, I guess I'm just not going to eat there. Or get me something to drink there. I go on down the road. It's just not my day to day. And we, uh, we have them every now and then, right? Everybody does. Get off the line, Jeremy. Let's get out of Arkansas. And just like that, my day got better. Stop over here at the state line. Went in and got me a drink. Needed something to eat. Looked like they were about to put everything up because it was pretty bare. <clears throat> and she said, you can have whatever's in there. I got free dinner. Man, you can't beat free dinner. That brightens my day. Yay. So let's get our butts on down the road some more. Oh, man. Taking another couple of hours, honestly. Be about 9.30 stopping. Well, let's go. Well, I drove a little further than I thought I would. Um, we actually came to the Madison yard. 
friend of mine's here, and uh, we're going to go get some breakfast in the morning, I think. But uh, 481 miles today, that's not too bad. Uh, we've only got uh, 269 to go out of 660, so not too bad. Not too bad. But I think that's going to be it for today. Man, I appreciate y'all being here. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me, yeah? That'd be awesome. I'll see y'all tomorrow.